Latina parents as a transfer from Virginia. Here's the ball over the top. Goldsmith in behind. Goldsmith just off the wrong side of the netting. All right, now down to our sideline reporter, Matt Schumacher. Thanks, Matt. I mean and now a chance here for Creighton. Lennon is in. Great save. Eric Dick diving to his left. Well, that's the biggest save of the afternoon so far. Riggs Lennon, 10 goals on the year. Defending well for Butler. Good turn. Chance here for Creighton. Palmed away. And clear. And a free. Too many bodies in front as Creighton looks for a goal late in this first half of a scoreless game. Now a chance for Butler the other way. Gallifer in space, running at Legro. Gallifer is around Legro. Gallifer! And he puts Butler in front. Isaac Gallifer, the freshman, delivers a 1 0 lead. Here in the Big East Men's Soccer Championship. I think those fresh legs are paying off. What a run. Fantastic finish as well. Well, he thought he was fouled a few minutes ago. He got onto that left foot, and uh, what a strike in the bottom corner. Did not leave a foul to chance as he gets around Legro and a good finish. That's his fourth goal of the season. And after missing Thursday semifinal result with an automatic bid, I think uh, Butler are pretty safe on, uh, on getting in. Now Goldsmith. Regardless of today's outfit. Goldsmith with the chance. And it's well saved by Cap. He'll probably be disappointed with that strike on goal. Basically it came out of nothing yeah. Thursday night. Less than a minute remaining in the first half. It's Butler one, Creighton nothing. Now it breaks free. Ostrowski. Top of the box, Sudik deflected. And it's just wide for a goal kick. I beg your pardon, I thought it was deflected. But a wonderful chance for Lewis Sudik here at the end of the first half. That could have been an interesting uh, opportunity there if that had gone in, going into the half with the Yeah, driving forward, he was really successful running at the defenders, so um, I would expect to see a little bit more of that today uh, or in the second half. Sadek, well oh. hit just past the far post. There, Kieran Geldenhays. This is where Butler could get him on the break as well. They got some speed. Harold Ambus. Now some space for the Cypress na native to operate. Clever ball, picks out Goldsmith. David Goldsmith curling, punched away! And a big clearance that time, Miles Inglis was tracking Galliford for a vital clear. Goldsmith in the, getting into another great position, running off the defender's shoulder, and here he goes again. Another driven ball, oh. low header! Makes it two for Butler. It's Eric Leonard. Fantastic finish. And now Butler can taste it. Two goals up, 26 minutes left. And they have their eyes on their first ever Big East Men's Soccer Championship. Lovely little ball in by Lewis and a fantastic finish by Eric. Diving header. That's his second goal this season. Grew up in Palatine, Illinois. The FC Soccer Chicago Development Academy. It's been it's taken Lennon's forward position. I expect them to probably push a few more people forward here in the next 12, 12 minutes. This is where David's been really good today, running behind the fullback. Goldsmith, isolated with Peter Prescott. Lewis Suddick, two versus two near the corner. Oh, 
Marco Paralambus. Isaac Galliford, very patient here from Butler. Playing a little bit of keep away, then, doesn't it? Now they find Goldsmith. That's wonderful soccer from the Bulldogs. Galliford on his left foot, working Paralambus. Paralambus title. They beat Crane this afternoon, two to one. And they're headed back to the NCAA tournament for the sixth time ever and first time since 2010. Fantastic result. Paul Snape, the head coach, celebrates in his sixth season. Wonderful effort, look at them with the trophy. Happy team right there. And well deserved, I think. We'll go to break when we come back, we'll wrap things up. Butler is your champion, they beat Creighton 2-1.